Hey there, Cancer. Happy New Year. Thank you for tuning in. And welcome to your tarot card reading for January 2024. This reading explores events and situations taking place this month that significantly impacts your love life and your career. Feel free to take with you whatever messages resonate and leave behind for others whatever does not. So here, the overarching truth for you this month, we have the Six of Pentacles, How People See You, Five of Cups, Root of Problems this month, The Lovers, How You See Yourself, we have the Death card. In terms of your love life trajectory, you have the Knight of Pentacles, significant Situation or event influencing or impacting your love life. We have the Queen of Pentacles, what brings it about, Ace of Wands, and what this can lead to, Two of Swords. In terms of your career trajectory, we have the Eight of Pentacles, significant situation or event in impacting your career. We have the Six of Swords. What brings this about? Two of Cups. And what this can lead to, we have the Eight of Swords. In terms of the influencing energy for this reading, we have the Hermit and the Five of Swords. So maybe you needing to take some time away uh, from situations that uh, might bring out the worst of you or the worst in people and kind of needing to trust your own your own judgment. And so here with the overriding truth with the six of pentacles, it kind of has to do with like give and take. Um, perhaps your ability to receive perhaps someone else's ability to receive. And that concept of like reciprocity in terms of how people see you with the five of cups, it could be that they see you as focusing on the past, um, focusing on the things that you've lost um, and being caught up in like negative emotions in terms of the root of problems, you have the lover's card here. So for some of you, it may be your, your outlook on commitments, on partnerships, and what you are kind of willing to invest or willing to receive, what you're willing to ask for. In terms of how you see yourself and this death card, it could be that you see yourself as, as uh, something that is a, I usually think of death as a transformation or loss, but it's almost as I am focusing more on the impact of death for these people, it's as if you see yourself as someone who um, people can't really, they don't know how to deal with you in a way of like, they just don't know how to interact with you. Um, you have a very strong sense of who you are, um, your beliefs, what you want, um, Perhaps some people find you to be a mystery. Um, and so they just don't know how to react sometimes. So I think you are kind of recognizing that or focusing more on like, focusing more on how other people see you um, and perhaps how to approach those situations based on um, 
Because if people see you as someone who is focusing on negative emotions and loss, then it's almost as if you are kind of looking at, see yourself as the person or the thing that either creates that loss or creates it as it, a situation where people just don't know how to deal with you or interact with you, maybe because they see you as someone who they can't really interact with because of you being very like emotional or um, them thinking that you're emotional. So I'm going to go with only other like cups card I see is down here at the two of cups when it comes to your career trajectory. So I'm going to go that direction because here in terms of the trajectory of your career, we have the eight of pentacles. So it may be that you are um, kind of learning still, maybe um, still training, um, still getting more connected to what it is that your skills and talents are, um, like what you're good at and what you can, you know, make money doing and actually enjoy that. And there's going to be um, a situation where either you are going to need support um, moving forward or you're going to be supporting someone else. And here, what brings that about, you have the two of cups. So some connection, some discussion that you're having um, is going to lead to this like this transition, this change. And what this can lead to with the Eight of Swords, this could lead to a situation where you feel, again, um, that you are looking at yourself from someone else's perspective, feeling like you don't have the authority to to do something to you know to give or receive even um so it's almost as if you should be aware of the people like because the lovers are the root of your the problems for you this month and here this um this kind of communication with someone brings about um, the need for kind of like almost like a s escape. It's, it's almost as if you need to be very clear about who it is that you have on your side, who it is that you're um, kind of making plans with, um, making it very, very clear the people that you trust and the things that you say to them and even the people that you don't necessarily trust and the things that you say to them. Um, it's as if you have the ability to um, you'll have the ability to either gain support or possibly lose support. Um, when it comes to your career path or your job. So that's something to pay attention to. In terms of your love life, the trajectory here, you have the Knight of Pentacles. So it's almost as if things are very slow moving. You feel like whatever you're doing when it comes to your love life, whether you're dating or you're in a relationship, it's like you're putting in the work and hoping for a payout of some sort and significant situation or event impacting your love life with the queen of pentacles. Um, it's as if you're going to be in a position to really decide what you need to feel like 
you want to be investing in this more. Um, and it seems like here with this, like this overarching truth with the six of pentacles, that concept of reciprocity, giving and receiving, it's almost um, kind of deciding what it is that you need to receive, uh, what you need to nurture in a relationship when it comes to your love life to even feel connected to a person or connected to what you're investing in. What brings this about? You have the ace of wands. So it could be like maybe there is someone who is attractive that is catching your attention. Maybe there is, um, you know, someone showing interest in you. Like there's, um, an opportunity to kind of, uh, is something exciting to happen in your love life as opposed to just going along and just doing the work and just going through the motions. And what this could lead to with the two of swords, um, it could lead to you actually making a decision based on not the facts of things, not what's practical, but how you're feeling about something and the things that you that scare you, the things, you know, um, it's kind of like part of the thrill of something new is what is the unknown of it. And if you are someone who's just uh, very much, very practical, and it's almost like someone who shows, uh, what is it called? Shows affection through actions, through doing things, um, as opposed to really tapping into that vulnerable emotion. Um, and so we go back here with this concept of the root of problems this month with the lovers. And really understanding um, that part of this unity, this partnership is knowing what the individual wants. So knowing what you as an individual wants, what excites you, what makes you feel good about yourself, what makes you feel good about the connections that you have with others. And then knowing that for yourself and then meeting someone or being with someone that fulfills those needs, that actually um, is a good match for you. And here, when it comes to like how people see you and how you see yourself, it's almost as if there is emotions are something that can overwhelm you so much that you are almost trying to get ahead of it by being more practical. But really, I think that is part of what might, what might be changing, um, what might need to change in order for you to kind of really understand this, the reciprocity of give and take and like, it's not like you do these things and I do these things and then we have a happy relationship. Um, it's more that the things that are being done on each side fulfill the wants and needs of those people. And so it's as if um, there's going to be an opportunity for you to really tune into like what you want, what you need. So Cancer, I'm going to close off with a couple of Oracle cards to find out how you can approach these situations. Let's see what we have here. We have the Hermit, which was the influencing energy of this reading. So, you know, taking time for yourself and trusting yourself, trusting your experience at your experiences and um, making making decisions based on what you know 
based on your life experiences. And then we have here bullseye and focus. So really, um, if there is drama going on around you, um, if there is something that you want to accomplish, then, you know, focusing on what the goal is, focusing how you can get there, seeing if it's something that you can get there based on your own knowing, your own decisions, and making sure that if you are going to partner with certain people to, you know, collaborate with someone to um, move forward towards a goal that you guys are sharing, you know, you have shared goals and you know what you want and you know what you need and how you can accomplish it so that you can assess um, what they're contributing. Um, and it seems like that's going to help you in, in your career path, but also like Also, all sorts of kind of partnerships, all sorts of situations where there's like a commitment to be made and really an opportunity for you to kind of recognize your own strength and recognize what you can accomplish when you, when you start knowing yourself a little bit better and recognizing why there's certain vulner vulnerabilities that you don't want exposed. So Cancer, I hope that this reading provides a helpful perspective of your month. We'll see you next time. Take care.